Hello Techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about UpTalk. UpTalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. In this tutorial video, we will take a deep look into Savient. Savient is a smart and adaptive identity and access management IAM, platform. It provides a unified solution for enterprises to streamline identity governance, administration, and access management. Stick around and watch each and every video in this Savient series to receive the most benefit from it. We are going to talk about the following topics in this video series. Overview of Savient Entitlement and Database, Managing the User and Entitlement, Active Directory, Enterprise and Application Roles. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel to know more about such interesting technologies. Watch other videos in our UpTalk channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rate uptalk.com. Let's get started. Uh, we are gonna trying to learn here, like save and right? What does it exactly mean Savient and uh, some people used to call it like EIC but I used to call it as a this is a IDN. Some people also used to call it as a IAM. What does it mean exactly? This is like Enterprise Identity Cloud, Identity Management, some people call Identity and Access Management. When we talk about it like you know everywhere this is enterprise identity so you come you see there is a common i here right even here this is i and here this is i also present what does it mean actually it's all telling about right you know managing a identity managing a identity so your in your case right what you consider as an identity for you so like uh, this Ruthi uh, Arjun or, you know, whoever is, if I ask you, like, what is your identity? You know, you will tell my name is Ruthi. Then I would ask you like to prove, right? What is the proof you have? Uh, your name is uh, Ruthi. You would show me pan card, right? Or like other card. You guys agree with me, right? So, uh, like, then this identity, if you talk about like what is the identity use of in your Savient. Basically, Savient, it's a framework or a tool you can say. So this is a pre-built tool, Savient. It is used to manage identity life cycle. Identity life cycle of users when i talk about managing the identity life cycle of users there is various scenario came into picture right managing the identity life cycle of a user what are the identity life cycle of user basically when the user is getting created or you can say user is getting onboarded right this is a life cycle user is getting onboarded time to time user is getting transfer right and one day the user or the employee will switch the job he will move out so this is a normal life cycle of a you know user or employee or anybody you can say even you and me so in everybody life it happens right you joined a company then you got a transfer or you moved out to a different department and after some time let's say three or four years or two years 
you are gonna move out from the company you will be getting a new job or you'll be switching a job so that's a you know human tendency nature so what is the relevant or you know why servient it is related to this right let's understand few things here when you're talking about managing the identity life cycle of user so imagine a scenario right so let's say you guys got a offer from a company let's say the company name is accenture okay so before getting the offer letter what is the procedure there so you guys are submitting your resume hr is reviewing your resume then they will give you a call back and the interview will happen once the interview procedure you got selected and you got a package and you are joining the company so you join finally accenture right so once you join the company right you would have submitted a lot of number of document right like your aadhar card your pan card your address and some of the your certificate like qualification education certificate you submit those thing once you submit those thing right your accenture hr guy he or she going to create your account in their database right they will create your user in their database right once your user is getting created here from that day you were a part of the accenture you were a employee for accenture so there is a lot of chance that if you do some courses or if you want to switch the job inside inside the company you can get a different role that is a possibility right and that possibility is there and once you got a different opportunity you move to a different department right if you feel like you have spent a lot of time here like 3 to 4 years right you are then gonna move out from the company right guys uh, you're getting my point right what i mean yes nanuj yes nanuj so this is a layman term okay i'm what i'm talking about this is a layman scenario where day to day life basis it used to happen so including this thing when it came to savient i added a point savient is used to manage the life cycle of a user or a employee you can say how this is coming to picture okay we'll just try to you know enter here let's say so keep this uh, this point in mind right just assume this accenture company had a good project let's say uh, this accenture company got a good project that project name is xerox this xerox project has a requirement of more than 150 people or more than 150 employee they need to join this project 150 employee so what accenture is going to do the same procedure they will take the interview thousands of you know candidate finally they will be selecting 150 user so this 150 user right they are going to put those thing into their database correct me right because this 150 user should be get onboarded to accenture database just for you know because you are going to part of the accenture employee this somewhere should store your data right other way how you will get the employee card and how you will get the access to the company portal everything you will be getting right so there is a procedure what they are going to do they will you know feed all your data in their database let's say the database name is hrms in the hrms database they store like you know all this 150 users record so each user carry like your aadhar card your pan card your certificate 
educational qualification certificate your address book everything you are going to store so this is for each individual user so like that they store here for 150 user right so this hrms database uh, they put you all the details right so everybody got a notification that in this day right or let's say after 10 days you will be joining the company so you got the offer letter they you know generated the offer letter they store all the data so in the first day of your company when you are you know will onboarded or you will join the company in the first day accenture so accenture people will make sure by default everybody who joined the company they will get access to email right email so like we have personal gmail so company also used to have their corporate email that email you can say you will get by default access to outlook right all this 150 user right then you will get access to this accenture their internal portal internal portal you will get access to this application and you will also get access to time sheet if you would have heard because you guys are you know a little experience right you have previous experience so you will get access to time sheet portal because every day you will be filling the time sheet for your logging hour that is going to give you the salary so you got access to outlook you got access to internal portal you got access to time sheet and every employee should get access must get access to their hr portal where you can view your salary structure right that is they used to call some hr portal so these let's assume this four application everybody should get right with the you or me whenever wherever you joined so this is your basic right you can say how in india if you burn or uh, your basic right is you will get other card you will get a pan card you will get a birth certificate right nobody can stop you to get that so same way if you join a company you are gonna get this outlook this internal portal this time sheet and hr portal but let me tell you one thing out of this 150 user for a single user also how this account are getting created let's say this hr uh, accenture hr person they are going to inform this outlook admin so for each and every application there will be admin person right for outlook there will be admin who is maintaining this outlook part and internal portal there will be another admin because one person cannot handle everything one person doesn't have all the knowledge right so for outlook there will be admin person internal portal there will be another admin person and for time sheet there will be another admin person and for hr portal there will be another admin person so when this 150 user join accenture for each and every person HR gonna inform these four admin person boss we have 150 user or 150 employee who got onboarded you need to create their account because those guys will be joining like you know like June 1st you have in your hand like you know another seven days so this guy by hook or crook they are gonna create your account in outlook in internet portal in time sheet in HR portal right you agree with me guys for this 150 user hr person inform to this all these four admin guys let's say they call and they tell okay we have 150 employees who are getting onboarded and their joining date is june 1st 2023 so you have to create their account in this so for creating an again account what is this procedure this hr guy sorry this outlook guy this internet portal and this time sheet and hr portal all this admin guy they will reach out to admin and they'll ask boss send us the detail of the 150 user what this hr guy will do they will email all this four admin person with all this 150 users details right for each person they are gonna mail their aadhaar card number their bank card number their uh, address proof and their educational details right after providing all this detail right so this outlook guy all this guy right one by one they will be entering the data here right then only the outlook and all this portal are gonna create it so 
imagine if a, the company like Accenture, they have, I believe, more than three lakhs employee, right, in their database. So each time, you know, a lot of people are joining the company and the HR is again informing to this Outlook guy, all this, they, they are creating the manually. Don't you think this is a tedious task for them? And human tendency is if you do manual work, you will make a lot of mistake. That is a normal human tendency. So it happened for everyone, right? If you do a mess spell or something, so something goes wrong, right? And it is not only about joining of the organization. Every day, many people or many employees, they are joining Accenture, right? There are also people are there, they are every day also leaving the company, right? So let's say out of this 150 user, right? 89 user, you know, or like whatever the number, like 10 user, you know, they leave the company. They put down the paper because they don't feel good here or they got another opportunity of a good amount or a good company. So they put down the paper. So what again happen? As usual, right? HR will conduct a meeting with all these 10 members. They try to retain them. If this 10 employee doesn't agree, finally HR has to release them. How the release procedure will happen? They will, you know, uh, ask the employee to fill some form like exit form. Once this form is filled, you know, the employee will sign up there and HR will sign up this form. And again, this form HR gonna send to this all four admin guy, right? Why they are sending? Because their access should be revoked now, right? It should be deleted. Otherwise, this when employee, right, they will have access to this portal. They can do any malfunction here, right? So every day, this Outlook guy or this admin guy, they are creating a lot of future. Also, they are deleting a lot of future. In case, right, just assume this guy, Outlook guy, he forgot to visible one of the account out of the stain. What would happen that time? This admin guy, he assumed this record is no more exist. Like let's say the person name is something, Adam. So Adam already left the company Accenture, but still he has access to Outlook, right? But this, this is not known or, you know, he forgot to delete his account. So what will happen now? Adam can do any malfunction to the company. He can stole the data. He can sell the data to other company, like what is the private specific name or what is their email ID. He also use this account. He can use this account to do pissing, right? Email pissing used to do, right? Or you can say he can do some kind of threatening to the company. Or you can say uh, uh, he can do some virus attack to the company, you know, through some illegal activity. So that is also possible, right? So here, Definitely, it is a company reputation and company losses going to happen, right? This kind of malicious activity. So this shouldn't be there. But what happened? Because of all this tedious manual work, this person forgot to delete his account. So this is how it was happening when there is Savient was not there. Savient was not there. Even cell point was not there. OIM was not there. This is out of identity access management world right this is a normal convention process you can say a legacy process when cyber security or like say identity access management was not invented the life was like this before and imagine how much difficult was life here right what we learn from here three things so you got one thing here right this is all about your life cycle management of your user without savient so four point we consume we came to the concluding point what life cycle management without savient right without savient life cycle management right all manual work we are doing manual work first thing Second thing, lack of lack of security, right? Because you saw admin guy forgot to delete one account, right? 
there is a lack of security there is a lack of you know uh, this uh, 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 this lcm life cycle management right uh, without sibient how it happened manual work we are doing lack of security also what happened that guy is a lack of audit also right we don't have auditing system here we do not have auditing system auditing system what does it mean auditing system still you have a guy that name is adam he has access to accents but nobody knows about it right they cannot identify it until and unless there is an audit happen right so that audit gonna happen like it is not every day it is happening company used to conduct the audit in a month or uh, in a quarterly basis or a yearly basis but what happened till that quarter audit happen any malicious activity can happen to the company right so there is a lack of auditing system so these are like you know some of the major fund i can see what is happening without savient there is no savient in picture right so up to this any any doubt guys i think uh, before savien also there were some of the security systems right uh, Uh, i i i i am talking about like you know simulation of savient not exactly same here savient okay. before savient we had oracle identity manager before right. oracle identity manager we are one identity okay mm -hmm. who is the basic of the company who started before okay. our so oim and cell point they started in the same phase but oim got popular right and okay. after that now in the market we have ping fade we have savient we have in many more we have omada right but the yeah. story came into the picture right oim it is not actually oracle invented oracle acquired some company right so mm -hmm. that company like you know like excelator something was there the name so there is a behind story we will come to the picture no worries right i'm just talking about when there is no savient means no cyber security or no identity access management when it was not there right right okay so this is the picture what happened there is no uh, eic tool or savient tool right so now let's have a look how we can implement the older scenario or the previous scenario with savient let's assume we have savient in the picture now right what will happen now same let, let's consider the same picture in the market so the same company name like accenture right i'm just repeating the thing accenture company they got a project that project name is like say xerox so this xerox company right they have the requirement like you know they need for the xerox 150 employee so this a 150 employee for this accenture started interviewing people they interviewed more than you know 150 obviously because you know they had to choose the good candidate and after um, uh, interviewing a lot of candidate finally they selected 150 employee right this 150 employee they have to submit their data like aadhar card pan card their or uh, uh, like educational details and address book so all this each 150 employee this uh, submit their data this hr guy what he can do he will store all this 150 record in his hrms database right they store all this information in the hrms tool right this hrms tool is in nothing but like a database or some different kind of you know storing mechanism or you know it can say it's active directory anything it can be so sorry um mano just a question here Mm -hmm. when i mean for the first time when a user i mean an employee joins a company mm -hmm. there should be someone who is entering the data into the system right that is the manual step yes that we cannot avoid right of course you cannot avoid this what i'm telling right somebody <laughs> behind the hr is there who is gonna store your data here mm -hmm. at some point of time there will be let's say you know at least there will be some manual work but what if they are actually if you can reduce the number from 100 to 1 right so if you want to drive a vehicle right 
whether it is a car or a bike or a aeroplane let's say you are you know traveling to america or usa from india mm-hmm. at least you have to go by walk right some step will be there to enter the plane for that time of actually consumption time actually there is a manual walk in ball but from after that moment it is taking only 2 to 3 hours or 4 hours to journey to any other cities with aeroplane but some yeah. step will be there you know you are doing a manual entry to the flight that that will be there that is you know nothing can be avoided right mm-hmm. correct but the number we are reducing if you go by a walk it will take you know actually a lot of time instead of that we are traveling by a plane but there will be little walk will be there from that distance flight you know from the cab from the uh, flight or uh, what is called actually that uh, uh, up to the flight you have to go by walking right so that step will be there everywhere it will be there so that's what i'm telling here this hr person right some person will be there they will be entering your data here all this 150 records so for each and every person they store the aadhar card the pan card and every detail they store here after storing here right our sapient comes into the picture so all the old scenario it will get covered by your sapient how it is covered let me explain it so this hrms they store the data in the hrms right from here sapient is telling boss your work is done now you have entered your data in the hrms let me pick from here so as they suggested hr earlier they used to inform the outlook team right to create their outlook account for this 150 employee this hr guy they were informing uh, we had another three application right let's say uh, like uh, their company portal right they were also informing to create their account here and for H, uh, hrms or hr uh, application where you can view your uh, um, uh, what is that uh, your uh, salary structure everything right they are also informing here to create the account here and your time set application also, right time set application so earlier this hr was informing all this for you now what will happen when this 150 user got onboarded right sapient come into picture what sapient will do now sapient ask boss you just need to enter the data in your hrms system and forget about everything from here from here sapient will manage everything sapient will take the data from the hrms right once the data is taken from the sapient it is going to store the data inside sapient and it is not a manual process it is automated process so sapient it is storing all this 150 record here right after storing the record in the sapient database sapient is going to create their account in the outlook directly sapient is going to create their account in the company portal directly and sapient going to create their hr portal directly and in the time set application directly so this admin guy he need not to create the account here manually everything will be taken care by the sapient team so what will happen if the sapient is creating the data see there is a transparency happen all this 150 user came to the sapient and here without any single error all the data will go to outlook zero error and same also for company portal and hr portal and time sheet all their account gonna create it directly here so we created the account what let's say out of 150 user there is a person name say like in a sailing so she got married and her last name got changed right those update also will came to this avian portal and from here to this all those four application her last name will carry it in the same way and it will get updated here 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 and here so we are avoiding a lot of manual work here in the first thing you know sapient is managing all this you know users here they are creating the account first day when any update is coming here so sapient is updating their record in the all this application right so that is the second thing let's say out of this 150 user a user decided to leave the company they got another offer so 
this stay neuter what will happen again this hr person right they will discuss with this individual person and they will try to understand their you know uh, uh, problem and all but this stay neuter stick to the things that you know they are going to put on the paper so a hr employee they are going to sign up this record and once they sign up this record out of this 150 user a user status will change from you know active to disable or inactive in the cvn and they got terminated and those stain record it will populated to cvn now for this stain user again cvn will automatically they will delete their account in active directory sorry outlook in company portal in hr portal in time sheet portal so this automatically you know deletion also got happen let's say so now the stain user got terminated right now we have let's say out of this 140 employee right five employee right got promotion because of their performable thing and what about the promotion if they got the promotion they will get you know different uh, uh, like a uh, department right he this five employee got a new different five uh, this five employee got new different department so after getting the promotion they should get you know access to some of the new application let's say some got promotion to managerial application right those application also they got access and their designation also got changed so these update should also flow to all this application right so what will happen again you know this promotion data will be feeded here in the hr portal for this five employee and those data will flow to sabient and again sabient will update their use data also here as well as sabient will create the account in the manager portal who got promoted to the manager role so this is just a example of a sabient managing right here you know we got came to know about the two thing we deal with the user right we deal with the application four application right so basically why this four application this four application it is just to manage this user right if you consider it depthly we are managing the user here like 150 employee so in the real time it might be can 1.5 lakh employee so company also has this record right it's it's not a big surprise so company like microsoft and you know other company they have a lot of employee so here sabient is managing the user life cycle of the user life cycle uh, like a scenario of the user from end to end come people are joining the organization they are getting promoted all these data are coming here and people are leaving the company those data also you know from here to here it is getting updated so these are the happening and here we talk about like you know what is the benefit we are getting right manual work is you know completely gone after the data come to sabient right it is only the hr person who are you know feeding their data in the manual thing that is the first day right because first day only there will be huge work but later on when any single update come that's a less work so hr gonna feed the data from here and after that sabient is managing the tool automatically if any new user is coming they are getting onboarded and they are getting access to this company application and if anyone getting promotion their data also getting updated and in the liver scenario right whenever the any employees leaving the company those information also getting updated here okay. so we got like in a completely manual work is gone and we have made it the employee onboarded automated process along with that we have security mechanism right there is no chances of forgetting any account deletion because it will happen by your sabient so there will be no malfunctions or orphan account will not be there so immediately in when any employee is getting terminated their account will get deleted from here so we got a security benefit along with that let's say <clears throat> so here every work is going well now there is a person let's say right adam who has recently promoted to as a manager right so under adam 20 employee 
reporting. Adam want to know this 20 employee, right? Which access the carry. Basically, this 20 employee has access to what application. He just want to check or what role they have, right? He cannot go and, you know, search each and every user. What is their access? He just need a report. He asked for a report. I need who is reporting to me their access in each application and it's my company in Accenture, what all access they got carry. So that kind of information, it is asked by the manager. So that time simply we can generate a report, right? That is called certification. So this certification, it will be called as a user manager certification. So all this 20 user manager will get a certification notification. In that certification, he can view each and every person as access to what kind of thing. So we got another benefit of, you know, certification. So in the certification, each and every manager will review their peer access or their, you know, reporting access, who is reporting them and what access they get carry. That is necessary, right? Sometime what happened, a person or an employee can have conflicting access. Let's say a scenario where Adam is an employee. He has access to HR portal. In the HR portal, Adam's job duty is to, you know, create invoice bill for each and every employee, right? Let's say Arjun is there, Arjun getting some salary, right, in the company. So this salary report every month, including the night shift, his sick leave or whatever, blah, blah, thing. Calculating that Adam is preparing the report, like, you know, he should get the salary for this month, this much of amount. So every month, this Adam responsibility is to create invoice for each and every employee. His ability is to do only create invoice not to approve it it will be approved by a different person let's say uh, the person is something like you know like kevin so kevin is approving all this invoice these two person you know they are in a different zone or a different thing but let's say adam got a promotion and he got access to approving the invoice and he leave the place of, you know, creating invoice. But Adam has still access to creating invoice and approving invoice. Both the things he have the access now. What will happen in this situation? He can himself draw the salary, any amount he can, you know, want and he can approve himself. So that's a biggest loss to the company, right? How it is happening. If you remember in your earlier days, like Satyam, so those company like, you know, they got, you know, uh, money laundering cases and, you know, they lost a huge amount because some of the auditing malfunction process where a person, if have access for Adam, he can create an invoice and he can approve an invoice. You know, this is a violation, right? This is a violation. It shouldn't be there, this access. So to avoid this kind of scenario, right? Savient will help you, right? Savient will help you to create an invoice and approve the invoice. That is called, you know, we have a story. Segregation of duties. It is basically preventive, right? You know, if anybody has any access or, you know, if already the access is there, it can identify and it can delete the access. Let's say you shouldn't be part of, you know, up create. You should be part of approval. So it will create your access in the create. Uh, it will uh, delete your access in the create invoice. So this is a benefit of, you know, savient. So savient also can perform the, you know, segregation of duty violation thing. It can also perform. Right. And let's say another thing in this company. Right. So HR body asked 
like last to last month i made you join 150 employees and i just wanted to know all this 150 employee they have access to what application and what zone and what you know a role for each every information data is asked by the hr person so this report also can be generated in the savient you can simply go to analytic model in the analytic model you can write a query that query will give you the you know well formatted result like a tabular format anything right all the 150 record data it will give you so we also have this benefit right so we came to know a lot of benefit about you know using the savient right first benefit was we are managing the life cycle management of the user like joiner scenario when the employee is joining the company mover scenario like when the employee is you know moving to different department and leave us scenario when the user is leaving the company we also got benefit of you know certification right we talk about the certification the certification involve it can review the access right certification it can review the access review the access of employee for manager so let's say if you are a manager what you know you uh, under you there is 20 or 30 employee reporting to you each and every employee what access to hard application they have you can review it that is through certification and we talk about like you know sod violation right we can also identify that if a, a person like adam they have access he has access to creating invoice and approving of invoice right that also we can detect it and that is possible by through your sod violation we'll talk more about also like what is sod violation and we talk about like you know generating analytic report this analytic report will help you to prepare a report in your company if a people has inactive employee if they had access to any application or not so that is also malicious thing right a employee already leave the company but he has access to many application so that shouldn't be there so those thing also we can capture it under a analytic report right so these are the many benefits of using savient so savient also has a lot of thing you know uh, uh including these things so we have like you know uh, uh we have your sod we have your analytic right we have your attestation that is your certification so everything is there so we'll go everything one by one the things once we go through the topic and it is not the directly i will let you know about what is analytic you know what is certification so that will not give you a good understanding so the understanding will happen right in a context let's say in a context means i will be right uh, you saw here i saw you right employer getting like outlook application access employer getting hr portal application access hr employer getting access to time sheet application right so we'll simulate some of this application we'll be integrating a database application database application we'll be integrating a active directory application we'll be integrating a service you now application and for this three application we'll manage the life cycle of the employee or user so including this life cycle management like you know when the employee joining will check when the employee is mover in the when the employee is leaving the organization we'll see and on top of this three application we'll see how we can perform the sod violation how we can perform the certification how we can perform the analytic report right how you know we can manage the ars request basically sometime what happened some of the application will be there in which you don't get any direct access you have to request for those access right it is not a birthright it is not for everybody 
So those rarest request also will check how we are, you know, we can request an application, how it is getting approved, how we can view the status of this request, you know, how we can request for other also, right? Those option also will view. So covering to that and how this process is getting automated. I told you like, you know, when an employee is joining a company, they are getting directly access to Outlook, directly getting access to HR portal, directly getting access to technical without any request because this was their day one access. So how these access are given, we'll also see this is possible through your policies, right? Those also will view. And a lot, many more things are there, right? We'll be trying to cover each and every aspect what is possible for you and what is, you know, required to understand as, you know, you are uh, new to this domain, okay? So we'll covering all this topic one by one. So now it is up to you. Like, you know, it's, uh, it's your part. So any question guys here? From the tool perspective, you will be covering each and every option available in it, right? Yes, I'll be covering any, you know, all the topics, whatever is available here. So this is like, you know, the mostly thing we'll be working in the admin because, you know, this admin, it is related to all this topic. I think, you know, I uh, have to refresh it. Okay. Any, any other question? So I'll be covering this ARS model. Yesterday, right? We talk about segregation of duty. This role model also will talk about like, you know, how we can, you know, uh, deal with a role, right? This is, this role is something different, right? This is for, you know, uh, role mining. We'll talk, we'll also talk about what is a role mining. Okay. Okay. So those information, all those things also will cover it up. Okay. And uh, you have many more things. Let me show you. When I talk about like, you know, managing user, right? It is not only managing the user. It is also managing their users, their account, their entitlement, their role, right? Which group they are assigning. What is a security system? What is connection? What is password policies? What is your organization, right? So what is a technical rule? What is the user update rule? So you, you can ignore these two things as it is deprecated now, it is not in use. So what okay. is global configuration, SMTP, email, attestation. So this attestation again, it moved to here, right? So same thing you can talk. I'll, I'll, I'll we'll talk also about what is the salient rule? What is a request map? What is job control panel? What is available here? Okay. What is a workflow? How this workflow is happen? Okay. So the, main thing i topic i forgot to told you right so i told you this you are getting access to outlook hr portal and uh time sheet let's say you have another application that is called active directory and this is like you know to get some directory information and this is not birthright you are not getting by default you have to request it but what happened if I directly go and access for this application and I get the access? This is a violation, right? So no, it shouldn't be that way. If you request for application first, it should go to your manager approval, right? Manager will decide if this person, Adam, he require really this application or not, right? If manager approve, right? This active directory owner, he'll see, okay, it is approved by the manager. That means it is required for Adam. And he will give the access, right? So this is most of the thing, and it is every organization it is there for every and each ever each request. What is request based? That should be get approved by the manager itself, okay? And that will be checking in the workflow list of workflow approval, how it is covered, okay? And this is your admin function. We'll talk about. There is also another thing, application log, okay? Data analyzer that is not there. We'll also come up with that, okay? If it is not here, I'll show you. Don't worry, okay? I'll show everything. And this OAuth mechanism, you can forget it about, okay? This is related to SSO. And it is, you know, it's not in your work. Actually. So we'll be covering 99% of the things. How we can create a report, how we can, you know, generate analytic report, how we can do a certification, how we can, you know, do the role mining, how we can do the SOD thing, like for a violation, how we can also generate a request or how we can make approval of a request, okay? Here you don't see anything because it is not enabled. So if I enable some of the things like SAB role IP go, and because I'm an admin here, okay? I can choose the option here, the request, I should be able to request access for other, 
I should able to request view for other right whoever access to us because I'm admin. I'm all clean all right. I also should should be able to request multiple access for other. I should also you know see. I can also update user request if it is possible, right? I can also able to request enterprise also. All this thing also we'll see how it is coming up in the things, right? So what is the use of a sub role? So all this thing came here. So it is again on the context. So I'll make you understand everything in the context wherever it is required, so that you will have a complete knowledge of the application. Whoever is working on the savient, will they have mm -hmm. admin access or? There are different access types. So it is not exactly all the have admin access. Again, I will tell this is completely business requirement. I will mm. tell you there is a client called Campbell Soup, okay? And I used to work for that project. The Campbell Soup manager he hesitated to give me admin access. He told nobody. I cannot give you any access. I was okay. surprised to see if I don't get any access, I cannot access the application. So finally, he created a another user. It is a simulation of your admin access, but not mm -hmm. admin access. What does it mean? If you are a father, whatever properties you have, your child can access some of the property, not all the property, right? The right. same way, I have an admin access. I can create a simulation access. Let's say support agent one, support agent two. It will have most of the access. What is required for a day-to-day -day basis activity, and it is again completely business requirement. Nobody will give you the admin user access. That is a top user. If you have admin, you can do anything, anything in the application. So that is why admin is not given to anybody. They will. How it will happen if you join a company? In your name, there will be an account, and that account they will assign you a admin role. Okay, we'll talk about that also. Okay, no, no worries. That is a part of your, you know. This application and training material also, it must be there. 